sitting right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's not in the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Belinda Reed I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Now, here's Melinda. Well, I'm thrilled and can't believe I'm starting the 18th season for Talk of the Desert. And I, my guests are starting their 28th season, and that's the Desert Symphony that we are so honored to have here in the desert. And joining me is the president of the Desert Symphony, Nancy Tappick, and the co-founder of the Desert Symphony is Marilyn Binikowski. And Marilyn, what is your always your line is when you're on Talk of the Desert? I can't believe we're starting the beginning of the season, and here we are. Every year, <laughs> for some reason, you, I start the season of Talk of the Desert with the Desert Symphony. I know. Seems like it's that way anyway. It seems like it's just flew by. 28 years is, yeah. I'm told, it's quite a milestone. And you were in diapers when you started, yes, right? Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I was a so. child bride, too. <laughs> yeah. I, be I absolutely believe that. But welcome, ladies, to talk about Ovation Series 3. Now, the 3 is not a number 3 on your brochure here. No. It's three ones. And that looks like Highway 111 to me, <laughs> or January 11th. Oh, you got that. I got that. Oh, is I right? Oh, good. <laughs> it's supposed to be three, but it does look like 111. It does look like but someone very dear. Especially when you live in the desert and anything says <laughs> 111, it looks like Highway 111. Absolutely. So, Nancy, tell me, uh, Nancy is the president of the Desert Symphony. Did I say that? But we honor her because she's the president. And how many years have you been doing this? You know, I began with the Desert Symphony in the year 2000, but so, not as president. And um, I'm very fortunate to still be here. I love what I'm doing. And this will be my eh, eighth year as president, con maybe. Congratulations. Is that right, Marilyn? Eight, nine, ten? <laughs> I don't know. I don't she, no, Marilyn's oh, never letting you go. You, you know, realize that. I lost track. Could it be? Could be. Okay. It could be. Yeah, okay. I lost track. Could be. When you're having fun doing something, the time just flies by. Yeah. So you really don't keep track. Uh, well, I, I know. I know the yeah. pay is just tr tremendous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like well, a volunteer well, <laughs> position. The, the, the yeah. rewards. The rewards outweigh any money that I could ever make. And I believe me, that. I love being a volunteer. Yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. do. I understand because I volunteer for a lot of organizations yeah. also. Yeah. But Nancy, let's talk about the series that are coming up. I mean, the f the first one is coming up really soon. Really soon. Yeah. And not because I'm from Jersey, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're from Jersey, night. yeah. I'm from Jersey. Uh, oh, what a night. And the Williams Brothers Christmas show. And it's really going to be a great night. And the, these guys are so fabulous. Um, I first came across them in Branson, Missouri, and I got a, I went to a 9.30 in the morning show at the uh, Moon River Theater to see them, because they were in Andy Williams' show the night before. And uh, I don't think I've ever gone to a show before at 9.30 in the morning <laughs> to, to be a talent scout and see if the act would work for the Desert Symphony. That was a first. But they were so incredible and such great guys. and. Their um, producer and manager is a really super, super person, and we're just really delighted that they're coming back. And they do Frankie Valley type of music? They do. Exactly. They open the show with the boys from Jersey, all the songs, Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, yeah. you know. Yeah. Everybody's oh, favorites, yes. And then uh, after intermission, they come back. As, as a tribute to the Williams Brothers and the, and the uh, Andy Williams Christmas show. And the whole motif changes. And we have lots of surprises. And Isn't Santa Claus will be there. And well, of course. So, yeah. It's December. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a great night. Great family fun. It's really a family show. And uh, we're really excited about it. And that all of your, your shows are at the McCallum Theater. All of our shows are at the McCallum Theater. We are um, a permanent fixture at the the McCallum Theater, the Desert Symphony, Fantastic. and it's and they even uh, 
have said that, you know, this is our home. And we feel very at home there, and we're very happy to be there. And, and uh, you know, we work well together, even though we're separate from the, the uh, McCallum Theatre, but we play there. So. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's the most spectacular theater in this area. There's it's no a question. jewel box theater. It is. It really is. Yeah. We're very, very fortunate. You know, as I go around in the summer and, and go to different theaters, we really are fortunate to have such a great theater. We're w really fortunate to have a great chairman. Harold Matzner makes sure that that place is tip-top <laughs> shape every single year with things added and keeps the equipment up to date, makes it so easy to play there. And we we really are okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna take a step back because yes. you honored Harold Matzner last spring yes. Yes. at your gala. We did, and he was uh, it was with the Amadeus Award, and that's our award that we give out for philanthropy and and uh, participating in the arts in in a very terrific way. And Harold, of course, is a great philanthropist and has really supported the symphony, but all of the arts, you know, especially with the film festival and, and the things that he does at the McCallum. And he was very cute. He gave a very short <laughs> speech, but he was very grateful and very gracious. And we were so tickled that he accepted the award and very happy to have him on stage with us. Yeah, now he's from New Jersey too, I think. Yes, he, actually, <laughs> it's really funny because his marketing firm was in, I believe, the old Alexander's building on Route 17 and Route 4 in Paramus, New Jersey, across from the <laughs> Garden State Parkway, or Garden State uh, Shopping Center, which was a big deal then, and still is, but it was really a big deal then. Mm -hmm. It was the beginning of shopping centers. Mm -hmm. so. Now, Marilyn, I should have started out with you, are, you and your um, deceased husband, uh, Ben Benikowski, who I loved and adored, started the symphony That's 28 true. years ago. That's true. And you're still here. And I'm still here, standing here, touting. You're sitting here, but that's okay. You're <laughs> standing here. <laughs> and, and I plan as long as I'm able, I will be sitting here. And you play violin. Yes, I do. So you are sitting there. I <laughs> am sitting there. Sorry. <laughs> no. As long as the fingers keep going, I'm fine. Yeah. No, and, you know, she says that so, you know, <laughs> nonchalantly. Yes. But what people don't realize is what Marilyn Benikowski really does. I mean, she seats every single musician on that stage. And I, I often think agent. that, <laughs> no, well, because sometimes she doesn't give herself enough credit, so I'm here to toot her horn for her. But, you know. Toot my violin. It's toot her violin <laughs> is what she said. <laughs> but, <laughs> you told me you can't toot a violin. <laughs> you can toot it, but not toot it. <laughs> anyway, um, it, you know, and that's quite a feat. And I often think, and I, and I know that the audience really shouldn't know, but when we walk on stage and everybody's sitting in their places and they're all tuned up and we're ready to go, and I think they think, oh, well, you know, this just happens. And believe me, it doesn't just happen. You know, she starts on the orchestra in late September and early October, and in the beginning of this of the summer, we're negotiating with the union, and you know, it's it's a process. Something that we really love doing, but what she does in particular, and getting all those musicians and taking all the calls that say, "I'm sorry, Marilyn, but something came up. It's a two week gig, and <laughs> I can't play." And it's 48 hours before the concert. Oh, lovely! Is that fun? Do not talk to Marilyn yeah. Benikowski. Yeah, she's yeah. giving all the secrets away. I mean, it well, could happen even the same day, but it's. Part of the game, you know. It, it, it is but part of the game. But it's remarkable that she does it. I mean, to I've me, learned to take things in my stride. Let's put it that way. Over the years, that's right. Especially dealing with dealing with musicians, huh? <laughs> Yes. Sorry, I didn't. That's no not about musicians. Well no it takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sure. But the Desert Symphony is our only professional symphony orchestra here in yes, the is. desert. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, and we do the pops, and we love we love what we do. We love the genre of music that we're doing, and it's really great. And our audience is fabulous, and they're so appreciative. And and uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a fun volunteer gig. <laughs> well, I am going to add one thing that I'm really proud of doing, and it was Gary's doing, actually, because I was going to have something else in the foyer when people come in to hear music, well, because just, it is a holiday time. Let's clarify, Gary Berkson Gary is the musical Berks, director right. and conductor for the Desert and Symphony. Just, yes. You just said Gary, like, you well, know, people, not a big deal, but it know. is. He's been with us so seven years. Seven years? This starts at seven, seven Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it so, is. 
I, I uh, acquiesced to what he asked for, and we're having the wonderful brass ensemble from the Palm Desert High School going to open and come in. You're going to hear them play. Now, what date is that? The December concert. 8th. On December 8th. Just we have before. so many goodies jammed oh, yes. into that night. Yes. It's going to be so fun. I'm so fun. proud of the fact that they're doing a concert with Toys for Tots, but they said, I'd love to do it, so they're going to come and play for us. Now, who's doing the, the concert for Toys for Tots? The ensemble, the whole ba a Palm Desert oh, they High are? School band. Oh, how lovely. Yes. That's a great organization. It is. It is. Uh, but when we can have can youngsters have around, it makes me feel so good. Especially yeah. at Christmas time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you're going to have Santa there, too. Yeah. So, Of yeah. course. And what a Santa we have. <laughs> <laughs> so people will be greeted oh. by music. That's just lovely. Yes. Okay, so let's start out, because I did kind of regress here. That's okay. Let's you start out on, on uh, December 8th is Oh What a Night and a musical tribute to Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. And then it's going to be Christmas music, holiday music. And, but so when the people walk into the McCallum, you're, they're going to be greeted by the Palm Desert High School. Brass Ensemble. Bra Brass Five Ensemble. Of Five, Five of them. Well, that should be pretty fabulous, shouldn't it? Yes. yes. And then the first half will be the tribute to Frankie Valli. Mm -hmm. yes. And then the second half is going to be Christmas. Yes. And Santa Claus is going to be on stage. Yes. How exciting. Yes. <laughs> It'll be, oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Late December back in 63. That's Isn't right. that what the song That's goes? Right. It was That's December, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, true. Marilyn, we've talked already so much. We only have two minutes left of this half. And I'm sorry to say we're going to replace you. Not, you're not replaceable. We're going to then introduce Gary Berkson, who's the musical director for the Desert Symphony. I know you can fill up two minutes. What do you have to say for your half of the show? My half is that I am just so very, very grateful to all of our supporters, our people, and I wish everyone a happy, happy Thanksgiving and wonderful ha and healthy holidays. That's my hope for everyone because the year will just fly by. It will. Well, yeah. I also want to think like Dan McGrath, who's the voice of the Desert yes. Symphony, yes. and uh, we've got to thank Symphony Sammy, who's no longer with us, but is a good fundraiser for the Desert Symphony. And everyone has been so loyal, and this is our biggest Symphony Sammy book ever. Oh, yay. And the conversation is so clever, and Linda <laughs> Williamson writes it all. And I was just but, talking about her today with our designer, and I said, I don't know how she does it. She says, I don't know anyone else that could do it. <laughs> and really, she, she's incredible. Well, this is a tribute to uh, Nancy's dog, who was named was Sammy. And was it Ben started calling him Symphony Sammy? Ben was yes. it And it evolved into being a fun, major fundraiser <laughs> for the desert. Fundraiser, yeah. For the desert symphony. Sadly, we lost Sammy about a, what, a year, year ago? ago. Uh -huh. And uh, but it's still going on, ma raising funds for the Desert Symphony. Yes. My do both of my dogs I are know, right. Symphony I know. Sammy friends, Francuzo and Melina. And so you get for next season, you got to make sure that you get your money in. It's only seventy-five dollars per pet um, to the Desert Symphony to be under Symphony Sammy's friends. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's okay. Right. Well, Marilyn, thank you for your 28 years for bringing the Desert Symphony to the desert. And thank you for having us every season because that's the beginning. It is, isn't it? Yes. It yeah. Is. Okay. Well, we'll be right back with Nancy Tappick, the president of the Desert Symphony, and um, uh, Gary Berkson. I almost said Ben Benikowski. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a little difficult to bring him back with. It would. <laughs> oh, sorry. We'll be right back with the second half. Desert Symphony has something for everyone this season. Live entertainment supported by your professional symphony orchestra creates great memories for the entire family. Experience the finest musicians performing the classics, popular songs from theater, and even more from motion pictures. For tickets and information, go to thedesertsymphony.org or call 760-340-ARTS or 760-773-5988. You can always see something extraordinary that inspires you here. It captivates, thrills, and delights us. That's why the McCallum Theater is so special. Here you can see award-winning Broadway musicals and plays, sparkling performances by the biggest stars, and all the best from the world of music, dance, and comedy. So come, join us, right here at the McCallum Theater. 
Now we're back with the Desert Symphony, and joining Nancy Tappick and me is Gary Berkson, who is the um, conductor and the musical director for the Desert Symphony. I can't believe it's been seven years. Yeah, well, this is the start of the seventh year, start yes. Start of the seventh year, that's pretty amazing. So um, let's talk about what it's been like to be here in the desert, because you came... Warm. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know that. But you were in Sweden. In Sweden for 30 years, yes. For 30 years. And then you brought you, you, your beautiful wife, Annika, with you. Yes. And you're now desert... Rats. Rats. Yes, yes. We're here full time. Yes. And you have survived the summers. Yeah. Um, I mean, I grew up in Los Angeles, so having 100 degree or plus temperatures was not unusual. It's just something that I didn't get to experience on a daily basis for a very long period of time. <laughs> but you also uh, work with another symphony in the LA area. Yes, it's a classical based orchestra. Um, as you know, most orchestras that are or classical orchestras also have a pop series. There are not that many truly 100% Pops orchestras. New York Pops is, is one example. Um, so that's, for me, it's very good because I get to do both symphony and Pops uh, with orchestras that are exclusively doing one or the other. So uh, it's nice to be able to have a full pop season out here in the desert. And Marilyn said, Ask Gary about the program on December eighth. So, what is there something well, the, different or special? It's not so different. Are you are you playing Santa? No, no that, that, I do draw the line. Uh, <laughs> I, I get, getting dressed up like a maitre d is one thing. Putting on a red coat and a beard <laughs> sure, is something make else. Make sure you got the white napkin yeah. over your arm. No, yeah. uh, as, as uh, Marilyn Ard and Nancy explained, that the, the tribute to Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons is the first half of the program, and the second half is actually in two parts. The second half of the second half half is the tribute, uh, the Andy Williams Brothers um, a Christmas tribute. But the symphony will be having its selections on the opening of the second half uh, with some traditional and untraditional holiday music um, and a little bit of what I always like to call audience participation. Uh, we try to do something of that nature once a year, it sort of differs from year to year, uh, depends on which concert I feel like I want to do it on and this is I thought, well, 20th season, why not? Let's begin with it right out of the gate. So we're going to have some audience participation. What that participation is, people will have to come and find out. I have to tell you, when you've done the audience participation, I've loved it. Thank Absolutely you. loved it. Because it's humor. Your humor is great. Well, Gary. thank you. It's, it's, I mean, we're there to have a fun evening. And it's, you can have fun both in, in the music that you perform. And then if the uh, communication with the audience becomes very staid and very uh, monotone, well, that doesn't really sort of fit the evening. It sort of brings it down. So you want to keep building. And so I try to add to that in both in, in, in the selections that we play as well as communicating with the, the audience members. But we can't find out anything, huh? Mm, yeah, you can find out. You, you go to the McCallum box office and you buy a ticket and you come to the concert and then we'll be very happy to tell you. Good. Nancy, what's the phone number for the McCallum Theater <laughs> for tickets? 760-340-ARTS. <laughs> A-R-T-S. Good for you. Okay, so that's December 8th, and it sounds like it's going to be just a fabulous show. I can't wait. And then we go, 2017, can you believe we're into 2017? Your oh, next really? show is Super Diamond on Thursday, January, 20, uh, January 12th. Yes. Yes. And Super Diamond is? An unbelievable act. They are so great. He is a tribute artist. He's sanctioned by... Uh, Neil Diamond, I was fortunate enough to be in Reno this summer, and they were playing, and I went to see him. Incredible. It's, the, the audience is going to go wild. They're really fabulous. And no. I can say this, that yes. if you were to close your eyes and listen, you wouldn't know if it was Neil Diamond on stage or somebody else. The, the, the gentleman that's, that performs as Neil Diamond sounds exactly like him. That's wonderful. It, it's yeah. really a good show. So is it just going to be just them? Or are you opening up? We, with we are doing a, a first pieces? half uh, mm -hmm. that evening. And we also, every year, we try to do a baton auction where we auction off the ability to, or the, 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 the opportunity to conduct the Desert Symphony uh, with the proceeds going towards among many of our activities, including our educational program. And at the same time, we also present the winner from the previous year's auction on stage to conduct. So. Um, Last season, we were very fortunate that a lovely couple named Larry and Carlene Scott won the auction, but instead of 
deciding between the two of them who would conduct, they decided to donate that opportunity to their grandson, Bronson, uh, who is 12 years old, I believe, um, studying music. Uh, they thought this would be a wonderful opportunity for him. So he will be making his debut with the symphony on that uh, first half. In and January. you, but you provide lessons to the people. That yes, win and it, usually it's a lot. It's not too difficult because people are here. Bronson lives in Seattle, oh. so <laughs> Poor Gary. so this summer actually I went up to Seattle to yes. work with him. Yes, and we worked for, uh, quite a bit. And then I'm going to see him uh, over the Christmas holidays, and then just right before uh, the concert. So he will be more than prepared. At 12 years old, is he excited? Is he nervous? Oh, very is much. He, oh, he is excited. And he, I, I don't think he wasn't nervous when we worked together. He was very calm and assured, and uh, was looking forward to it. Was very aware of everything that he had to do. He, so it was a lot of fun. He's going to follow in your footsteps. Is that right? Well, I may be, have to be careful. He may be conducting the second half. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> but that's going, that's going to happen on January 12th, right? right? Well, and that is, that's such a fun time because of bidding against each other. You've got some interesting bids on that. So oh, it has, I mean, yeah. it is, and, but I think it's just it's wonderful to see that people are willing to go an extra step to help uh, us do projects that help other people. And I think this is a terrific fundraiser. Who came up with the concept of this, or is this not something that's new? It's not original. Okay. I mean, a lot of orchestras do this. Um, I was the one, if I remember correctly, that after having seen it uh, with the Downey Symphony with uh, Elizabeth Pitcairn right before oh. the Elizabeth came to perform with the Desert Symphony. Uh, the Red uh, Violin. Red Violin. Uh, and they did this, and I thought, well, this could be something for us. And so brought it up to, to Nancy and to Marilyn's uh, awareness, and they talked about it and said, well, let's give it a try. So we actually, this will be the seventh or eighth time that we've done it. It's, it's a lot of fun. And the people didn't get to, to conduct. It's, oh, um, Michael. Another modest one. It's really his auction. He brought it to us. We jumped on it. He conducts it, and he's done an excellent job. Yay, Gary. Yay. But it was Michael, and just his name just Roland escaped. Davies. Yes, Roland Davies. He conducted the orchestra last year. Actually, we actually two uh, last uh, two uh, conductors last year because we had two co-winners. Uh, they tied. We couldn't break the tie, so we offered them both the opportunity. Oh, terrific! Well, I was there for, with Michael, and everybody's coming about. He's he's got kind of longer hair, yeah. and it looked beautiful on stage. So you there need you to grow some hair, Gary. No. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> believe me. Sorry. 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 Now, we, we, you have a symphony every month. So that was January. Then you do February 16th. And Nancy? The music of ABBA with Arrival. And this will be their fourth time coming back to us. And they're, they're incredible. They're the best tribute group to ABBA in the world. And they're touted that way all over the world. They, they play everywhere. And, uh, they're just, if you love ABBA, you've got to be there. And who doesn't love ABBA? Oh, everybody loves ABBA. Yeah. So, yeah. Gary, you're going to be, half of the symphony will be no, yours? No, they're so, the, the, with, the, no, the, it, well, we've had this discussion before. And the thing is that with such a, a group of, of musicians and the, the entire catalog of ABBA songs, if we were to only allow them to do half the concert, people wouldn't be coming around and saying, oh, I loved hearing that. They'd say, why didn't I get to hear this? So we figured, okay, every now and then, let's devote the entire concert to our guest artist and give the audience the most that we can of their great music. Best bang for their buck, huh? There you go. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, I didn't say that, I was, did I? I was thinking it, but I'm glad that you did that, so there you go. <laughs> Very informal. Okay, and March 16th. Forbidden Broadway? How can Broadway be forbidden? Sometimes it is. It is, is it? Yes. So this was a, a suggestion that I brought forth to, to the ladies. Um, I've known about them for 20, 30 years. Um, they have basically been doing an off-Broadway show of four singers with piano, and they are what they take is Broadway melodies and songs. They get in costume, but all the lyrics are changed so that it becomes a very biting satire of either the show or a particular artist. To be um, lampooned by Forbidden Broadway means that you have arrived. Oh. And all of the great artists will go to the show to see themselves being made fun of. So a couple of years ago, Forbidden Broadway started also doing symphonic shows. So I said, this is something that we have to have because people love the Broadway songs, but it's also a fun evening because nothing is sacred. 
And I just got the, the, we only got three minutes left because I have great guests and we got so much information mm -hmm. to impart. But quickly, Desert Resident uh, on April 6th, who the guest star is? Lucy Arnett. Yes. And she is phenomenal, as you know. Yes. Great talent, wonderful personality, great songbook. It's going to be a fun time. Yeah, and she lives here in the desert. Yes. And then on April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, yes. you've got your gala coming up. Yes. Who, who's the gala? Well, I can tell you now. <gasps> you can actually tell? Yes. Is this an announcement on Talk yes. of the Desert? This is, this okay. is a scoop. Okay. It's the incredible Al Jarreau. <gasps> Fantastic. Yes. Oh, and we're doing the same format as we have the past couple of years where we have the uh, premier tickets with the restaurant and dinner included. Of course, we're looking for wonderful angels and sponsors for the Founders Room. And it's our one fundraiser, our major fundraiser of the year. And uh, we're really excited about having Al Jarreau. That's oh congratulations! Thank so I you. Uh, this is the first time I've heard this. Yes, so, I know. Um, well, we've got the 28th season for the Desert Symphony at the McCallum Theater. Phone number is seven six zero three four zero three four zero A R T S. Yes, and it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic season. Congratulations! It is. We're really excited, and we're yeah. raring to go. And we know we'll see you in the audience. Of course. And that's always. Makes I'm the it one who uh, who applauds mostly and yells and stuff that's like okay. that. Yeah, we like that. <laughs> we like cheerleaders. So, thank you so much, Melinda, for everything you do for this valley, for your ability to bring charities to life on your program, and we really, really appreciate it. And we love what you do with the Desert Symphony. Thank so you very thank much. You. And we do, I do have my mascots here, Francuzo and Molina, are down on the floor next to us. Yes. And uh, Gary, I want to thank you for your seven years of dedication to the Desert it's Symphony. My it's pleasure. It's always and, happy to be and here. And nobody knows how long Marilyn has been, pre uh, Marilyn, <laughs> Nancy has been president of the Desert mm -hmm. Symphony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I want to thank all three of you for being wonderful guests, as always, on Talk of the Desert. Gary Berkson, the director of the Desert Symphony, and Nancy Tapic, the president of the Desert Symphony, and Marilyn Benikowski, who disappeared from us, who's done everything for the founder of the Desert Symphony. I guess that's the best way to put it. Thank you for joining thank me. Thank you for having us. And thank you, audience, for joining us. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web. Desert Symphony has something for everyone this season. Live entertainment supported by your professional symphony orchestra creates great memories for the entire family. Experience the finest musicians performing the classics, popular songs from theater, and even more from motion pictures. For tickets and information, go to thedesertsymphony.org or call 760-340-ARTS or 760-773-5988.